The document viewer can be found in many places throughout the system. Depending on where you use the viewer, the available document types offered are limited to the module's documents and the ones that are general to the system, for example, audit trails. Your ability to see specific document types depends on your user ID or group security or menu design access. To be able to see all the module's document types in a viewer, we will need to use the one located in the path, Club Management, Club Admin, Document Management Viewer. This video will only demonstrate this one. Use the F2 lookup on the Document Type field to select what specific types of stored documents you want to search for. The default is All Document Types which will include only those documents that you have access to. Select the start and end date range to pick up the time frame for the document retrieval. The default period is from the beginning of the current month to the end of the month. To search all dates, use N slash A for both start and end dates. Option Selection Show inactive documents yes, no, or all. This flag is related to the flag in the Document Management Parameters module. If the flag Purge Linked Documents When Manually Deleting is turned off, and when you're in the Document Management Viewer, and you right-click on the document, you will see the option To Remove. This will keep the document stored, but will remove it from the viewer. When you set Show Inactive Documents to Yes, it will show all that you have removed from the screen. If it is set to All, it will show everything in the database. Alternatively, if the flag Purge Link Documents when manually deleting is turned on, when you're in the Document Management Viewer and you right-click on the document, you will see the option to Purge. This will remove it from the view and the database, so it will be deleted permanently. Now the setting Show Inactive Documents does not apply. To further refine your search for only specific documents, use the Apply Filters section of the screen. This grid allows you to filter the documents to be retrieved from the viewer. Attributes column. To pick attributes associated with the document type selected. Let's select Chit Number. Rule column and condition column. Select an operator to be used, such as must be, cannot be, less than, greater than, must contain, cannot contain, with the condition cell applied. Okay, let's select must contain and put 10 in condition field. Use the All Types field to have the rows filter applied when looking at all document types. Rows of filtering can be copied or pasted and removed by right-clicking on the grid row. Search Documents button. Select this button to retrieve and display in a tab any documents that match your search criteria. You will see in mine that I have filters set for chit number that must contain the number 10 and look in all document types. What has been returned is exactly that. We see the date added, company, member number, chit date, chit balance, sales area, partition, shift, and any notes. If you select a row, you will see it in the corner file name and a preview of the document you have selected. This completes the end of our video, How to Use the Document Viewer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our Jonas Club Management YouTube channel for more how-to videos.